Ireland is a land that has it all. Incredible scenery with miles of open spaces that are crisscrossed with ancient tracks and remote wild trails. It's a walker's paradise. It's a land of history, folklore and legends that date back thousands of years, the remains of which are still here in the landscape to be seen and experienced by all. From early monastic settlements to remote scholarly islands, from ancient stone circles to pre-Christian communities. It's a land of writers, musicians and poets, from the wild Atlantic way to wild landscapes, from the coastal villages and towns that resonate with music and song to the quiet, peaceful trails in the mountain and lakeside areas. Ireland has it all. My job as a scientist and broadcaster gives me the opportunity to explore and experiment with all sorts of interesting aspects of the world we live in. For me, that extends to nature. Today, I'm walking in County Kilkenny, taking in lots that the county has to offer, from city walking to riverside to stately gardens and hilltop forest routes. My name is Dr. Ruth Freeman, and this is my Tracks and Trails. Kilkenny has endless history, stories, nature, and scenic countryside. Historic monuments such as Jerpoint Abbey dot the county. In the city, the workshops of Kilkenny design, the winding streets full of arts and crafts, and the old castle provide hours of meandering strolls. Just outside the city, the countryside extends along the various river walking routes that pass through the county. The first route travels along the banks of the River Nore for 10 kilometres, winding its way through a variety of terrains to Bennett's Bridge. The second route starts in the historic town of Gregnamana and extends through the countryside and forest trails to end up in the stately gardens and surrounds of Woodstock Gardens and Arboretum. Kilkenny is a city that's bursting at the seams with history and stories going back over a thousand years from witch burnings to public hangings, from being a county famous for its hurling excellence to also being a vibrant creative hub. Kilkenny definitely has more colours than people expect. Today's walk starts in the heart of Kilkenny city and takes me out into the countryside along the River Nore to Bennett's Bridge. The weather forecast is a bit changeable, so I've got lots of layers on to be ready for anything. And I'm wearing my walking boots because it might get a bit wet down by the river. In my bag, I have snacks and water and I've downloaded my maps to the phone. My walk starts right in the heart of the city. There's enough here for a whole weekend, from the castle history to the arts and crafts heritage of Kilkenny design. Kilkenny is legendary in Ireland for hurling. Before I head out, I'm curious about what makes Kilkenny hurlers so good. I'm meeting four-time All-Ireland champion and Kilkenny hurler Conor Fogarty, who will hopefully give me some hurling insight. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're here at this monument to all the great Kilkenny hurlers. That's right, yeah, look, there's, um, I suppose hurling is a, there's a huge tradition of hurling here in the county and um, mm. this monument was erected, I suppose, dedicated to all the hurlers that have passed here over the years and uh, represented our county so well. Yeah, but I mean, even when you walk around, you see even very small kids, they've got their hurls, they've got their jersey. It really feels like it's what every kid in Kilkenny wants to do. It is, yeah, look, the kids love it um, and I suppose it's probably a thing that's passed down through the generations. You know, as, as soon as you're, you're able to hold a hurl, maybe at three or four years of age, uh, there's a hurl in the hand and, you know, it just yeah. it really takes off from there, I suppose. Yeah. You know, obviously the, the ultimate goal is to get to an All-Ireland final and, and uh, to win one with your county. Yeah, you have a few of those yourself, I think. I have a couple, Ari, right, yeah, thank <laughs> God. Right. Yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> so on my walk today, I've been around Kilkenny City and I'm going to head down to Bendis Bridge now. So which way do I go? You're going to head down this way route, just underneath Castle here, and that's going to bring you out towards Bendis Bridge. Fantastic. Listen, it's okay. been lovely to talk to you. Thanks thank very you much. So much. Mind Take yourself. care. Bye now. This walk is part of the South Leinster Way. This section is 10 kilometres long and runs along the banks of the River Nore all the way to Bennett's Bridge. Slowly, the cityscape fades out and the countryside fades in. The last few signs of city life are marked at this bridge, and from here on, 
its tranquil countryside and a variety of terrains. The trees really tower above you in this part of the trail. It makes you feel quite small, but they're also a bit awe-inspiring looking up at the green canopy. But you know, it's lovely. It's really peaceful spending some time between these old trees, listening to the birds sing. The River Nor is one of Ireland's principal rivers and flows through three counties. It's so significant in Ireland that it's been written about and referenced in Ireland's literature going back as far as the year 824. The route intersects the public road for a short stretch of the walk. It's less than one kilometre, and the entry and exit points are clearly waymarked with easy access. The area is scenic, tranquil, and is home to some interesting wildlife. Sections of the river are designated a special area of conservation designed to protect these species. It's only to be expected in Ireland. The weather changes all the time. So only an hour ago, it's all cloudy. Now the sun has broken through and it's picking up all the beautiful bits of nature around me. The water's sparkling. The flowers are looking at their best. It's really lovely. I'm meeting Harry Everard, who manages this walk and keeps it open and obstacle-free all year round. He knows every footstep of the route. Hi, Harry. Hello. Lovely to meet you. How are you? Good, thank you very what a much. lovely yes. day. So you're responsible for some of these fantastic trails that yeah. we have here in Kilkenny. Yeah, that's correct. In particular, this one, the Nor Valley Walk between Kilkenny and Benesbridge is definitely our flagship walk. We have a counter on here which is recording sort of numbers up to about 25,000 people uh, a year are coming down. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're very proud of it. It feels quite special because you're, well, where I came from, you're in the bustling city full of shops and people, mm. and then within mm. minutes, you're kind of mm. out here and it's so yeah. quiet. Yeah, it, it, it's great. You know, whichever direction you do it in, you know, it's nice to go to start, get out in the countryside, then maybe have a, a coffee or something in Bennett's Bridge and the other way around end up in one, of the, in the, one of the restaurants in Kilkenny. Definitely my favourite is to go with the flow. It kind of pushes you, you know, along, you dry, same, drives you The energy yeah. of the river. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this isn't public land. This is no, landowners no, no. That, that let people walk here. Really, the, the, the 10 kilometre section of this from the, there's a pedestrian bridge from there to Bennett's Bridge. We have private landowners and without them, we would not you know, be able to come onto the land. We are in a special area of conservation along here, which doesn't allow us to do anything really that might have impact on the river. But you know, the wildlife on here is very special. You know, I, I regularly see otters. Do you? Yeah, I, I, I regularly see, you know, kingfishers. It's beautiful, beautiful, yeah. yeah. And it's lovely to see those really peaceful sections where there's just nobody around and it's a, it's a real treat. Oh, it's lovely. I mean, I walk this, this, this very regularly mm -hmm. and, and I have my spots along the trail where I might just take five minutes to take it all in. I'd say it never gets old. No, not so. I, I love it, I love it. So Harry, is this the old mill? Yeah, this is one of the mills along the river. So this bridge here is crossing what was uh, the mill stream and the mill wheel would have been mounted on the wall um, just here on the right hand side. And then you, know, you then have the mechanism going through and you'll see on the ground here evidence of a of millstone there and the million would have gone in, in there. The whole part of it is beautiful and it's just been an amazing experience, the whole thing. Well, Ruth, this is where we part company. OK. It was lovely to meet you. It was you. lovely to meet you too, thank you. Lovely. You keep heading that way to follow the river to Bennett's Bridge. Excellent. And I'll be heading off this way. Thank you for thank meeting you. me, Harry. Lovely to talk bye -bye. to you. Bye-bye. The river is a fast-flowing river, yet it has a tranquillity about it. 
It's in the heart of the countryside and the peace is tangible. The route takes me through a whole host of traditional Irish flora and fauna. From our traditional hawthorn tree to oak trees to rosehip bushes. There are little audio points all the way along the route, so you can scan the QR code with your phone and you get a little bit more information about lots of different interesting spots along the route. You are now standing beside a small sandy beach where locals swim during the hot summer months. After 10k, Bennett's Bridge is in sight and this section of my walk comes to a close. So I've arrived here at Bennett's Bridge and I've really enjoyed the walk. On a map, it looks like a simple 10K river route, but actually there's so much contrast along the way. From starting out in bustling Kilkenny city, you walk through forests with towering trees, open grasslands, and places where all you can hear is the birds sing. It's lovely, and I'll be recommending it to anyone I know who's coming to Kilkenny. If you enjoy the show, follow us on social and tell us your story. We'd love to hear about your tracks and trails, especially if it's influenced you in any way. Has it got you out walking? What were the benefits? Your feedback could inspire our next show.